In this video, I am going to show you how to create a pivot chart in Google Sheets. So a pivot chart is a useful option when working with pivot tables because a pivot chart is dynamic. A pivot chart is basically a chart that is created on a pivot table. So as you filter the values in your pivot table or as you change the data displayed in your pivot table, the chart will also update. So this is useful for having visualizations of your data set that change as you change your pivot table. So there's not a direct option to create a pivot chart in Google Sheets, but essentially all you have to do is first create a pivot table and then using the data in your pivot table, create a chart. And that is essentially how you create a pivot chart. So first we are going to create a pivot table. So I have this example data where I have branches of different stores, I have items, and then I have sales data for those items. So to create the pivot table, I'm going to highlight my entire data range. I'm going to go to data, and then I'm going to go to um, pivot table. And so I always like to create my pivot tables on a new sheet, so I'm going to leave it on that and select create. And then we can start filling out our pivot table with whatever data we want to display. So first, maybe I just want to look at revenue per branch. So in the rows area, I'm going to add branch. And then in the values area, I'm going to add revenue. So now I have an idea of which branches are doing more revenue. Now I want a data visualization for this. So I'm going to create a chart. So I'm going to highlight the data range I want to use to create the chart. I'm going to, use, I'm going to leave out the grand total because I don't really want that in my chart. And then I'm going to go insert chart. And now you can see that I have created a chart on this pivot table. So we're in the chart editor right now. So you have all of the same options as you do for a normal chart. You can change the chart type. You can customize how the chart displays in this chart editor here. But since this is a pivot table, I want to go back to the pivot table editor. So make sure you're in the pivot table editor and not the chart editor. Um, so pivot table editor and now I want to change the data um, that is displayed so maybe instead of revenue maybe I want to look at sales and so you can see now um, my chart has changed here instead of revenue this is sales um, but as you can see here the title hasn't changed so you may want to come back into the chart editor and just change the values um, that that your title is here um, so that's something to be aware of when creating a pivot chart but let's go back to the pivot table editor here so I have branches and now I have the sales so maybe instead of branch um, I want to look at sales per item type. So I'm going to remove branch and then the rows, I'm going to add item. And now I have the sales per item and you can see that my chart also updated. So as you can see again, the title hasn't changed. So let's actually change that um, under the chart editor. So customize chart title let's just change this to something generic since it is not updating um, when your pivot table data updates um, so that makes a little more sense now so I don't have to worry about that being misleading as I change my pivot table data but as you can see now we have a dynamic chart that as I change the data displayed in the pivot table the chart also updates for the values that are showing so that is the benefit of creating a pivot chart is that it updates as you update your pivot table. But as we saw, the one thing you need to be aware of is that title does not change from when you create your chart initially. So you need to manually change that. So hopefully you found this useful if you haven't really played around too much with both pivot tables and pivot charts. Um, it is a very useful thing to learn. So uh, just try to follow along and create your own and then you will kind of develop those skills. So let me know if you have any questions. That's it for this video.
Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.